Welcome to Joby, a movie and a bottle of wine. Hey everybody, it's Joby and Matt and the cat. And we had such a great night tonight. We watched The Rock in the Skyscraper. It was so amazing. The Rock showed everybody that having that leg was not a handicap because he did everything in the world with it. He stopped doors from closing. He beat people to death with it. He walked around with it. He fixed it. Oh, my God. He was amazing. That movie rocked. The top of the building's on fire. His family's up there. And, you know, nobody's going to beat The Rock. So he gets up there to get his family and thwarts the whole bad guy thing. Oh, my God. <sighs> Matt and I had no doubt of his amazingness. The kitty cat enjoyed it very much. Her eyes were this big when The Rock was on there. <laughs> Um, I watched uh, Jurassic Park. That took the majority of my day because all these special effects were on there. Oh my goodness. I enjoyed the movie. I know some people can crit critique things to death, but I, it was action-packed from beginning to end. I was completely entertained from beginning to end. The characters was were good. The story was good. The, the movie was amazing. And if I had seen it at the theater, I would have missed all of the really great special features that came along with that. You could watch in the end. And they talked about how the movie was made. And they talked about how they had the uh, dinosaurs, uh, you know, props and things come in and out and help the people focus and help the story and, and help the CGI guys. It was so cool. You don't get any of that in the theater. Um, there was something at the end. It was the pterodactyls landing on the top of the building because the, the dinosaurs were released into the world. The dinosaur world. It's going to be awesome. Welcome to Jurassic World. Uh, I don't know if they're going to carry on another one or not. I know Matt will keep me informed of that. But if these things are out in the world, do they just kill them or... Do they fight against it like the people that went to the island to save the dinosaurs? I don't know. I was completely engrossed in it. I love Jurassic Park movies. And the special features went back on some of the old movies and um, compared them and different things. It was, it was cool. Uh, I enjoyed it. I don't know. Um, Billionaire Boys Club was another one that I watched. And these three boys got together and they... Well, it, it was more than three. It was like four, maybe five. Anyway, they started the BBC. And it was a Ponzi scheme, like the Bernie Madoff stuff. It was back in the 80s. It was these young men. They were between the age of uh, 20 and 30. Uh, they were all millionaires, uh, kids, and they got together and invested. They got their family and their friends to invest. You know, you know how the Ponzi scheme thing goes. And the one little guy, um, it's a true story. His name was Joe Hunt. Uh, he didn't even kill anybody, but he ended up serving time for everything. I mean, the other boy, I don't know. Everybody has a different uh, point of view in the story, and he points that out too. But from from the point of view that I saw... The other guy kind of lured him into doing what they were doing together. And then once it was done, the bodyguard killed the first guy. And the friend killed the second guy. But the young man, uh, it was the boy from Baby Driver. He ended up, and he played Joe Hunt. He ended up serving time for everybody. He's like still in jail. And the boy who initiated him into the whole thing is in, like, the witness protection program. I mean, I don't know. That was a sad story. Back in the 80s, I guess they uh, didn't do a lot of cop stuff where they could figure stuff out. Or, or this little guy, but he did start the Ponzi scheme. Hmm. What? That is so unfair! It did have two of the girls from American Horror Story in it, and I enjoyed that. Uh, I like seeing those two together in a in a movie. That was really cool. And the Baby Driver guy, um, the Ponzi scheme. It was good. I, I would watch it again. I'd watch it again with Matt so Matt could see it. Um, I hope everybody survived the hurricane well.
I was very happy when I got home and found that I had power and my kitty cat. Oh, I said that in the wrong order. That my kitty cat was good and that my power was on. First and foremostly, is the cat all right, you know? That's, what, that's the most yeah. important thing. I got insurance on everything else, but I cannot replace that cat. You guys know that. Mm -hmm. um, I've been reading a good book. I got it out of the little box where people donate books in, the, uh, in front of the office. It's called The Heavy. And it's because uh, the mother is the... Um, person who has to enforce the rules of a diet that she's imposing on her family because her daughter is obese. Um, she's like seven, but she, th this woman goes on a rampage. It's really good. It's quite a struggle for her. I'm really enjoying it. It's called The Heavy. I'm going to put it back in the box with a bow on it so somebody else will be enticed into reading it too because I enjoyed it very much. Um, I hope everybody enjoys... American Horror Story tonight. We missed it. It's already been on. I'm going to watch it with Mom tomorrow night. But I hope everybody's enjoying it. Um, I, I got a video for you guys to watch on like Facebook or whatever. It's called Joby the Dog. And this guy takes his dog to the beach. And the dog's name is Joby. And I'm sure Matt will give you a slice of it to one side or the other here. But he's like, Joby, what are you doing? Joby, stop it. Joby. Oh my God, Joby! And the and he, and the dog poops in the water on the beach, and and the dog rolls in it. He's like, Joby, what are you doing, Joby, Joby? Oh my God, it is so funny. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it before, but if not, it came to my mind today, and I had to put it on here to tell you guys to watch it. Joby the dog. I think there's many videos, but him at the beach. Oh, Joby, what you doing, dog? Um, the State Fair is starting on the 28th. I'm very excited. Um, maybe I'll make it this year. I'm not sure. Uh, I told you. Did I tell you about the previews, Matt? Nope. All right, so I got a preview of a movie. It's called Mortal Engines. And it's by the maker of The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. I couldn't remember if I mentioned it. I didn't cross it off, so I'm going back to it. Um, it, it it's going to be really good. It looks really I don't know if it's futuristic or not with these big things that move the cities around that look like big tanks. I don't know. Watch the preview for it. Mortal Engines. Um, amongst other things tonight, Matt and I have been drinking. And I wanted to have some fun on my day off. So I had a Frosty Loco. The Blue Loco. Loved it very much. And last week, I mentioned that Matt and I were drinking as fast and furiously as we could, but I never mentioned what we were drinking. Seven Moons. This junk is amazing. I found such a great deal on it. Seven Moons. It's seven different wines mixed together. Um, it's a little fruity. If you like a little fruity, this is very good. I thought it was pretty thick. I thought it was pretty leggy. Um, Matt and I enjoyed it a bunch, but you gotta like a little fruity to it. Hey, how about a nice Hawaiian punch? Sure. Um, normally my junk is really smooth, but this, this, this is so good. If you get a chance at some point in time, you should try it. You won't get the deal I got on it, but you'll enjoy it anyway. <laughs> um, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope everybody uh, enjoys themselves at work tomorrow because I'm not. <laughs> Take care, everybody. See you next week. Bye. Thank you for watching Joby, a movie and a bottle of wine. Oh, Joby, what you doing, dog?